Michael Bay has become so proud of how expensive his chase scenes are, he actually has a cop in this movie witness all the police cars have been smashed to bits and comment on what an expensive chase it was. True story. Ambulance is directed by Michael Bay and stars Yahya Abdul-Mateen II as a war veteran named Will Sharp, whose wife is in dire need of a surgery. On a spur of desperation, he approaches his brother Danny, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, who has spent his life following in their father's criminal footsteps. So Will joins Danny and his gang in an L.A. bank heist, but as it goes awry, Will inadvertently shoots a police officer. He and Danny hijack an ambulance, taking a paramedic on board hostage and having her treat the injured cop, while the rest of the LAPD are trying to bring them to a halt in a non-stop citywide chase. Michael Bay came forward recently to say that he now thinks that Steven Spielberg was right, that Transformers 3 should have been his last Transformers film. And while personally I think that the fourth one, Age of Extinction, is the best of those movies, I agree that the fifth, The Last Night, was just one too many for him. When you compare his reasons for coming back to direct those fourth and fifth films, his statement on returning to the fifth was noticeably more reluctant. Bay saw the pandemic as a good opportunity to work on one of the smaller projects that he had had in mind, and by casting real L.A. cops, he managed to save a little more money, because apparently police love his movies. So I was excited to see him do something that he wanted to do instead of something that he was bribed into doing by the studio, like with Transformers The Last Night. I don't know how enthusiastic he was about his last movie, Six Underground, but I didn't particularly care for it. Ambulance, on the other hand, I really enjoyed. When I first read the premise for the movie, I was expecting a buddy comedy in the vein of Bad Boys. However, it actually takes itself a lot more seriously than that. Much of this is because the actors play it really straight. Jake Gyllenhaal, who I'm thoroughly convinced can play any role, his performance is fantastic. He's charismatic in that thug life kind of way without going maniacal, which is ideal for a character that's a criminal who refrains from trying to kill people. And because the actors take it so seriously, it really works to the advantage of the premise, because it does feel like a sort of local manhunt scenario that could happen. Unfortunately, there are a few moments of humor that don't work with the tone of the movie. One in particular comes during an otherwise tension-filled scene, where the EMT is performing a gruesome operation on the cop that involves getting a hold of his spleen on a hectic 80 mile an hour ride no less. The tension gets marred by an awkward gag where the cop wakes up during the surgery, begins freaking out, and then Will knocks him unconscious again by just punching him in the head. And correct me if I'm wrong, but for a guy to wake up to the shock of finding his body wide open and then getting knocked out again by a blow to the head, I get the feeling that would cause some bad brain trauma. Parts like that aside, I have to hand it to writer Chris Fedak, who has had few writing credits before this. He keeps the story moving very quickly for every minute of runtime, with all these different character motivations that collide in interesting ways. And it all results in a nerve-wracking climax that is driven by how the characters' motivations have escalated instead of simply blowing our minds with the most stupendous explosion in the film. The character I cared the most about was the EMT, played by Isaac Gonzalez. She starts out not seeing the significance of the 20 or so minutes she spends in the ambulance with each patient on a daily basis. There's a moving scene she has early in the movie when she tends to a little girl trapped in a wrecked car with shrapnel lodged in her. But once she's admitted to the hospital, the paramedic just turns to her partner and asks him if he wants to go grab an enchilada. She later says to him, the worst day of their life is just our Tuesday afternoon. To think that any medical worker couldn't see their own heroism. I was really invested in seeing her arc be completed. A lot of Michael Bay's mega-budget films are known for their heavy involvement with the U.S. military, and it's been clear long before now how much he respects them. So it's equally cool to see that as he takes the scale down with Ambulance, he pays respect to the work of first responders. The action sequences are terrific. The last two-thirds of the movie are essentially one big vehicle chase, and every mile of it is a jolt. Bay knows how to shake up the camera just enough to put you in the action while allowing you to see what's going on. The camera work is crisp and clear, and those long, fast-moving shots that track the ambulance and police cars just pump adrenaline right through you. Now, Bay himself has lamented about how some of the CGI shots look in this movie, he says there's very little CGI, but when it's there, it's crap. 
Frankly, I never would have guessed that there was any CGI. There definitely has to be precious little of it, because none of the bad effects that he speaks of ever caught my eye. There are, however, a few drone cam shots that were rather pretentious. A few times it will zoom toward the top of a skyscraper, and then rapidly flip around and zoom down the side of the building. That'd be awesome if there was a person or object that the shot was following, but there isn't, so it comes across as just showing off. Despite that and some rough edges in the humor, I had a really great time with this movie. It's a fast-paced, white-knuckled action thriller bolstered by good acting and solid characterizations, and the intensity never lets up. Certainly the most fun I've had with the Michael Bay movie since Transformers 4. After how much he phoned it in with Transformers 5, it's just great to see him doing something he really cares about. I'm going high with this one on the Factor Facts. I'm going to give Ambulance a 79%. Unfortunately, this movie's probably going to flop because of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, but really, if you've already taken the kids and you've got the time, go check Ambulance out. You'll have a blast. That's a wrap. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this review helpful. Like and share. Subscribe for more. This is Pop Culture. I'm Alex Pop.